Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest spooky toy review here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at the companion set to from the other day, and I don't know quite how these are going up yet, but I know these are going up second. Uh, Tunneler and Pinhead from Puppet Master, you can go back and watch that video now if you haven't already watched it. Uh, but I'm very excited that NECA is doing Puppet Master toys. Uh, I mean, honestly the most toyetic horror franchise ever, right? Because they're literally toys. And Full Moon, who created these, uh, new, or who, I guess, put the movies out in the first place, uh, Full Moon understood the demand for Puppet Master toys from the start, because if you go all the way back to the VHS releases of the original movies, some of the very first special features would be included after the film finished. You just left the VHS running, and they'd give you a couple of behind-the-scenes things. And then there would be an ad where you could buy resin models of the puppets from Puppet Master. So they knew from the start what they had on their hands here. And now, of course, they've been licensed time and time again. And NECA has, has given us now their take on the puppets from Puppet Master. So I'm going to take a quick look here at the credits I love that NECA does this. I think it's very important, and I think it's a big thing in the toy industry that they do. A uh, little Full Moon Features logo right there. If you haven't watched the Puppet Master movies, you absolutely should. They're The first two or three, at least, are classics. After that, uh, they sort of come and go in terms of quality. But the box packaging here is the highest quality because it is made to resemble the trunk that the puppets live in. It opens up to nice... Uh, cut windows featuring each puppet in the set. I love this packaging. I'm not going to be able to throw it out, even though I have absolutely no use for it, because it's just too nice. We we'll take our trusty 1964 box cutter, slice right through those adhesive circles, and get our puppets out of their trunk, where they can run free and cause havoc as needed. Carnage, destruction, and mayhem. That's what these puppets are best at. All right, we've definitely got a few less accessories in this set uh, than we had in the other set, which is fine because I actually appreciate the fact that NECA, uh, they do what makes sense. They don't throw things in just for the sake of throwing it in. If it's, if it's in the box, it was on the screen. I also love that they have reduced the use of tape in their packaging uh, to only using it when it's absolutely necessary. Uh, I am not a fan of tape on my toys or their accessories. Gosh, that is going to be a challenge to get out of there. It's the tiniest little tab. Here we go. Hopefully I don't lose a finger. I hate, I hate these tabs. If you guys have been watching regularly, you're probably sick of hearing it. And believe you me, I'm sick of saying it. Bring back the twist ties. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can here. Because Blade is a very, very slender little figure. Now you may be looking at this and thinking to yourself, Gosh, is he too slender? He is not. Uh, he is not at all. Go back and watch the movie again. The first movie. And uh, he is absolutely... The, these proportions are correct. Uh, his little implements here, be very, very careful with. The hook is, oh, the hook comes out for no good reason. It doesn't need to, but it's fine. But obviously it's got a swivel there. Uh, his elbows get a really nice deep bend, even though they're just single jointed. Uh, the sculpt on that face with the little daggers that come out of his eyes. Now this is with the daggers retracted. Oh man, that's beautiful. And see the hat, the hair, everything just sculpt and paint is perfect and dead on. Uh, his coat looks great. It's got that shoulder piece. And then of course, his namesake, that bladed hand. Look at the, the metallic, like the bronzed portion right down here with that metallic color. How nice that looks. And the detail on that blade. 
the sharpness. But for display purposes, you know I want that bloody blade on there. That just plugs right in. And I got to say, well, before we get too much further, let's finish the articulation. Uh, he's got a soft plastic coat, so you can bend those knee joints if you want to. Uh, and then the ankle joints, super, super tiny. So I'm not going to push them too hard without heating them up. Uh, but it does have the pivot and swivel of pretty much every modern figure you buy. And waist joint, he's got a little uh, little bit of a rocker waist joint there. A little, you can see, works nicely. So let's take a look. I'll tell you what would be possibly a smart move when you're swapping the head out on this guy. Take these delicate little implements off so you don't inadvertently bend or break those. Now they're removed, so you've got a little more leeway. Mm, that head does not want to pop off of there. Let's see what kind of joint we're dealing with. Looks like a pretty decently sized peg, but I'll tell you right now, uh, I'm going to leave this head on, heat this guy up, and then pop that head off, because I don't want to take a chance of breaking anything. So let's take a look at the alternate head. Daggers extended blood spattered looks great look at the blood on that i mean really fantastic job applying that blood that that is some fine arterial spatter right there all right so let's get his little accessories back on and set him aside so we can take a look at his buddy who I think design wise now we haven't made it to puppets that appear beyond the first movie I mean we haven't made it beyond four puppets yet we've got a lot a lot of ground to cover with this franchise but I think design wise he might be my favorite of the original puppets because he's very striking. There's no doubting like this character and what this, look at those double jointed elbows on this guy. Very impressive. Uh, so his attachment here rotates so you can kind of have the flame looking however you want it to look once you put it in there. Uh, all the detail on his coat, look at the texture on that. There's a little metal right there, the belt, the belt buckle, everything. All of this detail is just insane. Uh, he does have an articulated jaw with those bullet teeth. Absolutely amazing. His boots, uh, again, the ankles, these are a little bit thicker than blades, so I'm comfortable moving those ankles around a little bit. But again, that same pivot and swivel design. Uh, the knees, I'm not going to mess with because that one doesn't want to bend. <laughs> I've learned my lesson, you guys, about trying to force NECA stuff while I'm recording a video. It's not a good idea. Uh, so let's take his flame and plug it right into the front. Oh, that's a nice sturdy connection. So once you get him balanced properly, uh, I think he's going to be fine standing up. He's, he's got a good thick base, nice trunk-like legs. So I think once you get him in the right position on the shelf, he's going to be fine uh, standing. I, I don't think, even on this soft surface right here, look, not bad. So Because this is a padded surface. This isn't even a hard shelf like he's going to be standing on. So I've done a really nice job engineering this guy to stand up and look great, uh, look great on the shelf. I love these figures. I'm going to buy them all. Uh, at first, I wasn't too sure about the scale because I'll, I mentioned it in the other video and I'll show you guys here now. Uh, they are too big. They're a good bit bigger than they should be, but they're still going to look great on the shelf with your other NECA horror figures. I, at this point, I'm almost wondering if these are one twelfth scale. Uh, but they're smaller 
so they still display nicely. And I prefer this to if they just made them one tenth scale figures. Uh, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't like that as much, to be honest. I like them being smaller, even if they're not quite accurately scaled. So I'm, I'm very happy with all of these puppet master figures. NECA has done a great job. I can't wait to see more, uh, it, it's just what a fantastic toyetic franchise, right? So go out and get these. I have not seen them in Target yet, uh, but I can tell you I got mine from BigBadToyStore.com. I think Entertainment Earth has them as well. So just choose your favorite reliable online retailer uh, and get them from there. Let the FOMO consume you because you don't want to miss out on these awesome toys. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and have yourself a spooky Halloween season. Smash that like button if you like needless things.